Hi, this is an additional chapter to tutorial 3. Uh, the first chapter was recorded some time ago dealing with mapping of cases. Uh, this tutorial's chapter um, is f for people who already have a KML file. Um, this would apply also to people's shapefiles. To, they can normally export their shapefiles into KML fi f format in most GIS applications. Um, this is typically the scenario where you might have declare or we are declaring a site uh, and then the Surveyor General has mapped your site very accurately or um, you might be dealing with an EIA consultant who has done your GIS for you or you might in fact be the, the EIA consultant um, uploading the case to SARS. So it, people have pointed out it's quite a pain to redraw a case that's already uh, created on a, on a GIS system um, and for complicated geometries this is quite time consuming um, so I'm going to just cover how easy it is to upload your KML file um, and then save it and then what happens behind the scenes in Cyrus is a rule is triggered which encodes your KML file and stores it into the GIS layer this also applies for cases where you might have uh, geometry which is curves to the to the polygon. It's very difficult to draw that on the open layers module, um, so that's what we'll in fact do with this particular uh, tutorial: is draw a complicated one and save that KML and upload it to Cyrus. So let's go to Google Earth and let's draw um, some something that quite strange um, and unusual so I'm just holding down my mouse and I'm drawing a line and you can see Google Earth is very nice in that it allows you to create an irregular shaped polygon of course we could do this in Saurus by clicking thousands of times okay so that took a few seconds um, and I'll just give it a name um, test right I'll right click on the polygon, save my place as, and I'll pop it on the desktop. Do not upload KMZ files, those are the compressed Google Earth format files. Um, it will not work with a KMZ file. Just make sure you choose KML. Okay, that's it. Let's close Google Earth. And in Cyrus, I've logged in as my applicant user. I'll go to my um, case and I'll pick the demo case this case already has a map um, I used Harrington Street um, the uh, office location as the example but I'm going to delete that so I'll go to edit and <coughs> this of course applies so if you've just created your case in location info um, the same process applies there just maximize that now the rule runs behind the scenes and the the rule checks whether there's a value uh, or basically an existing map that's been attached to the case. If there is an existing map, a little red polygon or line or point, the rule won't be triggered. So if you upload a KML file, it won't do anything if there's already a map in the GIS layer field. So uh, in order for the KML file to work, you need to delete whatever you've um, uploaded or, ch or drawn in the in the layer before if you do indeed want to overwrite it with this with a KML file. For new cases of course this doesn't apply because your map layer is blank when you create a new case so go ahead and just upload your KML file. So let's save uh, so that'll get rid of the, um, the layer uh, value in the GIS layer for that case and then we're going to go back and upload the KML file we just drew. So back to edit, you can see it's blank in location info. Okay, so back to location info, we're in edit mode now. Uh, go to my KML field, choose that file, I'm going to upload it from my desktop, upload. Right, it's as simple as that. And then once it's gone up, I'll hit save. It takes a little while and it runs the encoding. You can describe the file but that's not necessary. Um, hit save and then we'll go back to the view mode of location info 
All right, there should be a little delay while it encodes it, and there you go. So now we have our quite complicated geometry attached uh, to this particular case, and we did it directly from a KML file. All right, now in our previous uh, half of this tutorial, uh, chapter three, we were talking about WKT files. I'd just like to point out that um, you can still use the WKT um, method if you don't have a KML file, and typically you would have sites where you perhaps you have four or five or more vertices that are very specific points. You haven't mapped it on a GIS system already, but you do know the lat longs, and so you don't want to draw an in inaccurate uh, development case. So this might be where you've, uh, it really, really matters that things are accurate to the meter. Uh, you know, or you're just lazy, you don't want to browse the map very much, so you, you know, the you've worked out the WKT format. That This field here, the well-known text field, is designed just for that, and that's exactly the same process as described in the first uh, chapter of this tutorial. Um, you need to, A, ensure that the map is clear, there's nothing in the field here, and that your string is in the right format. So for polygons, make sure you have the two brackets um, open and then enter your strings and th take care of the spaces. So um, if we had a line string or a geometry collection, we have more than one polygon or more than one line string with a polygon and points. Um, there, there are various different formats of the WKT format. Um, there's a whole series of tutorials online if you just Google WKT formats, um, or well-known text formats online. Um, or you can just browse through various cases on SARS and look at the uh, GIS layer format below the mapped case. And that'll give you a very good idea of what to enter in as your string. But as you can see, the double brackets apply for a polygon. It doesn't apply for a line string. Um, and it's very finicky, so that's the warning that comes with this. Um, you know, if you get any spaces that are missing, it will give you an error. Um, there's a space between the uh, longitude first and then the latitude. Obviously, latitude is a negative of the southern hemisphere. And then the comma comes after the latitude and then the next um, vertex. And you can follow that down. I've used the trim feature uh, so that you don't go all the way down the page with these very long geometries, but you can view other cases where there is less in, uh, on the, uh, the string, and then you'll get the end. But the end is really just uh, two closed brackets uh, for this particular one. And that's it. Um, we hope to provide a download KML file um, version or uh, format for where you've mapped the case on SARS, and then you'd like to download to KML. Um, hopefully we'll be able to produce that in the future. But uh, the WKT uh, string is uh, is quite useful as well.